I consider it for maybe like 15 seconds. This is pointless. Because you're outside of me. How can you tell me? How can you judge me when you're outside of me? When you're outside of my level. You're not in me. You don't know me. You're judging from the outside. It's impossible to do that, I think. And I think as humans, we want to judge because we want to have some degree of control over how that person behaves or how that person acts or what that person behaves like. And I, believe, I think that's where judgment stems from. Or there are those that just like to put others down because it makes them feel better. That's my it's point. A false, a false sense and yeah. a false checklist, but it happens. Yeah, it's, it's, it's and false. that's where your abusers come in. Yeah. Yep. Anybody else want to chat? Go ahead and talk over me. I don't care. No. Right. <laughs> Be like, just stop talking. And like, clack, clack, clack. And I was like, no, mute. For me, this is interesting because I, I was self-conscious about, I think, back in the day, maybe how, like, my weight or the fact that I was skinny or maybe something else or where I came from or all this goofy stuff that really didn't matter. And by paying attention to it, like, or if I had acne, I'm like, oh, my God. And then people would pay attention to the stuff I was paying attention to because I was putting so much attention on it. Ah! And then when I stopped doing that, they actually noticed the better qualities of me and that didn't matter. And, and that's not to say like, oh, you know, I should break my teeth up or I should look funny or weird or I should put on a bad appearance. But if something bad happens, something goofy happens to me, I don't put attention on that. Like if I break my arm, I'm not gonna be like, oh, hey, check out my cast, look. I'm gimpy today. Woo! I'm gonna just say, okay, you know, I had an issue with my arm. What are you guys doing? But today? You are gimpy. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name. You're gimpy. Someone start calling you. Remember, you're gimpy. Oh, you're killing me. Yeah, I, was in, I was invited to a bridal shower. Uh oh. Uh, last week, so I went, and the, the young girl was getting married. I think it. I think she's getting going to be a June bride. Anyway, uh, I I told her I will bring the something blue to the wedding and DeVerica's veins count because it's 67. That's the bluest things I got. Did you get any phone and numbers for me from the bridesmaids? No, but I'll work on it, Chris. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I will work on it. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. You know me by now. I'm going to throw that out there. <laughs> hey Chris, maybe you could catch the bouquet. How about that? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I actually got to go. I just messaged you. Though. I have to have to go though. I don't want to just. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt or anything, but I do have to go. It's uh, you know. But anyway. All right. It's, it's All great. Right. Glad uh, listening. I, I did want to say some things, but I just I have to go now, so it's too bad. But um, that's all right. Hey brother. Well, I'll be in touch with you soon. Yeah. yeah. Keep going on. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye. Cheers, buddy. Bye. -bye. Have a good night, eh? Okay. Yeah, man. Carly's here. Carly! What about Carly? What does she think of all our madness and ranting? And she unmuted. And Jay's here. Woo! Jay came in. Jay from the downliner. <laughs> well, hey, Jay and Carly. Wow. Getting famous. We are. Oh, Jay's not here anymore. He left. Oh, wait, no. He's, yeah, he's still here. Oh, Carly, go ahead. Yeah, I think that, you know, when you, I think, got confident and you put a lot of pressure on yourself, you're more likely to um, fail more or, you know, you're, I think you're the only one really seeing it than everyone else and you put too much on your shoulders and basically seeing yourself up to basically fail before you've started. Ah, I like that. I like so that. it's like uh, Napoleon Hill says, if you believe you can't and won't, you're doomed before you're whipped before you start. Yep. yep. I yeah. like it. And Jay, I know you just came in, so I want to get you up to speed. We're doing the power hour about the 10 harsh lessons to learn as entrepreneurs. And what we were talking about is getting over the fact of what people think of you or what people perceive you to be so you can get through 
to what you actually want to accomplish instead of worrying about, oh, I need to be a victim because somebody doesn't like my idea or somebody doesn't believe in one of my ideas. And that's not to say my ideas can't be criticized and can't be made better. But when I let somebody take my dream away, that's the whole problem that we run into. Do you know what I mean, man? Can you hear me, yeah? Yeah, yeah I can we hear you, brother. Oh, good, good. Just well, checking send him a link of the article so he knows what we're talking about. Yeah, I actually will do that because I have him on Skype. Nice. We're talking about 10 harsh lessons that are going to make you more successful as an entrepreneur. It's something that I was reading on entrepreneur.com. And it's really good, really, really good article. We've been getting a lot of ideas from this for topics because we've also been reaching out to people on entrepreneur.com, contributors, editors, business owners, things like that, so we can get them interviewed on our radio show and perhaps get them to be on the broadcast with us. So welcome, Jay. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. It's been a long time. Yeah, man. How come you're never here, bro? If you look at my website, you'll see why I've not been here. <laughs> no, that's a good point. The downliner is looking great. I, okay, yeah. I didn't know what the heck you were up to, man. Good <laughs> busy, stuff, bu brother. Busy, busy. I managed to bring the value up by uh, how much is it, Kareem? I'm not going to say anything. Um, <laughs> 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 it's five bucks, and it went to ten dollars. So, woohoo! All right, number eight. <laughs> Number eight, let's get to it so we can rock out. Not everyone will support you. Imagine that. I sent out maybe 15, 20 links, and then some people are you know, busy at different times or some people just say no. I don't really see a point in doing a mastermind or doing a broadcast or simply I don't want to be on camera. Now, I could let that bug me. I could let just going back again to the sales idea of all the no's and saying, well, these people don't support me, so is it a good idea? But all I need is one person to come in and say, I had fun on the power hour. It's worth something. And even if it was just me, Chris, and Fran, I'd get on the mic. Oh, yeah, of course we would. And if it was just me, I'd make sock puppets and name <laughs> Kind of like slip knots, weight and, weight and bleach. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the ball out there because yeah. it's interesting one. Not everyone will support you. What do you do when you get bogged down with a bunch of people that don't support you? How do you get back to just find that one person who does? One, one point I'm going to make before anybody else responds. So I got to not cut anyone off. Who, I've gotten to the point where I use that as motivation. Like those morons that comment on our Power Hour broadcast and go, well, you guys aren't in the studio yet. How are you helping people succeed? It's like, dude, you know what? It takes time to get into a studio, and we have good news. Live on the air, I'm going to say this, Kareem and I are investing in a professional studio. We're going to have green screens behind us with our Entrepreneur Power Hour banners. We're going to have professional lighting, professional cameras, and microphones. So, ha! Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> So there's a middle finger to the people who don't want to support you. Don't listen to them. You don't need to listen to that nonsense. If they're going to be buttholes and they're going to be like, well, I don't believe in what you're doing because you're not doing it. What do they know about success? If they're sitting on the other end of that computer screen and they're heckling you and they're putting you down and they're trying to put down your efforts, what does that say about them? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're rolling in cash, living in a mansion, banging supermodels. No, they're not. So don't <laughs> listen to them. Or you could just look at it like this. Sorry. I'm sure there was one guy who's like, come on, Steve. Come on, Mr. Wozniak. <laughs> don't make that computer in your garage. It won't go anywhere. Yeah. Zuckerberg, come on. Facebook, are you really yeah. going to put MySpace down? You know, Come on, man. And they just left. And same thing with Michael Jordan's coach, if he's still alive. Ooh. He probably does not feel all that happy. He's like, man. Or, or, or the people who fired Walt Disney from the newspaper. Probably not the happiest people. They probably go to bed every night thinking, you know, uh, I wish I didn't treat so-and-so like that. Or I wish yep. so-and-so was still employed or playing for my team. Mm -hmm. and, then, yeah. and then one day I see us there, you know. Because, we're, I mean, Jay, you're not the only one who's fancying up stuff. And then once that happens, I'm just making high, super high-quality videos in a super high-quality place. Yeah. It's going to be something that 
is going to change the world for entrepreneurs. We can get people away from the nine to five and doing something that actually has meaningful value in the world. Yeah. Imagine that. No, I know. And, and all those naysayers, they're the ones that are going nine to five, walking around Monday morning. You're like, hey, how's it going? Don't talk to me. I haven't had my coffee yet. What are you talking about? Good morning. It's like, wow, dude. You know, it's in a sun. The sun's still in the sky. I mean, why, why aren't you happy this morning? Oh, because I hate my job. Well, do something about it, Dad. Yes. You know? so, yeah. I mean, it's you like, have a choice. You ha you can get a camera. You have a phone. You have ideas here. I hope you do have ideas here, <laughs> or of that you might want to change that. But you have a phone. <laughs> if you have a phone. If you have ideas in your head and you have the capacity to speak or do sign language, then you can put it on YouTube or do something with it. And that, that's the whole idea. That's why I write software documents. That's why I do this show. That's why I do the radio show. 